Hey guys, so as you can see, this is not my face on the screen today. This is one of my best friends, Mez, and I am doing her makeup for this video. So I started out with some MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light, and then for her foundation, I'm mixing some MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC25 and some Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I just like to mix things up. I like making my own little concoctions, so I mixed those up and applied them and then blended it out with a damp sponge. Then for a bit of cream contouring, I used the Benefit Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. So I applied it to her face. Normally with clients, I wouldn't apply it straight to the face, but you know, she's my friend and I just did with her. So I applied it to her cheekbones and around her hairline and her kind of forehead and underneath her jaw and then just blended it all out with the same sponge. Then to conceal, I used the Mecca Max Life Proof Concealer in the shade Ivory. Again, wouldn't normally apply it straight to her face, but as she is my friend and this is my personal concealer, you know, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna stop saying that because you'll get sick of me saying it. So I'm blending it all out using that same sponge. I really, really love how dewy her skin looked with these products. Like, oh my gosh, so beautiful. Then I did a little bit of baking, so I used the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Setting Powder underneath the eyes. I applied a little bit ex like excess and then underneath her contour line. And then I took an F35 from Sigma and I just sort of set everywhere else on her face down the center and then just brushed away where I had that baking powder. Then I used one of my old favorites. This is the MAC Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. I used the shade NC30 and just concealed any blemishes, any redness, that type of thing. Then I took my Smashbox Cali Contour Palette and I used the Cool Tone shade to carve out her cheekbones and sort of just add some shape and, you know, all of that type of thing to the outer perimeters of the face and I used a Sigma F05 to do this. Then I switched over to that warmer shade, which is more of a bronzer. I used the same brush, but I just did the same thing and kind of dusted it a little bit more messily so she had a nice bronzy look to her face. Then for blush, I used one of my favorites, which is the Milani Luminoso blush. I used an F40 from Sigma just to apply this to the apples of her cheeks and then bring it back towards her ears and like hairline. And then to highlight, I used the Fenty Beauty highlighter in Hustler Baby and Mean Money. I forgot how much I love this highlight, it's beautiful. So I used the more natural one first and I really packed this on everywhere. And then after that, I went in with the more shimmery, more metallic shade. And then I just kind of applied that a little bit more subtly, but still, you know, so that the cheekbones popped and all of those areas were nice and highlighted. Okay, moving on in, we are doing the brows. So I'm using the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in medium brown because Mez obviously has dark hair and dark brows. I'm just giving them a little bit of a sculpt and, you know, defining them a little bit. She already has beautiful full brows, but we're just shaping them a little bit and I'm using an E75 to do so. Then to just carve out underneath, I'm using the Benefit High Brow Pencil. So I'm just, yeah, carving them out underneath. And I started to use a F71 brush to blend it out, but it just, it was too fluff, fl fluffy. So I switched over to an E62, which blended it out so much nicer, so that we had beautiful sculpted brows. And then I just used a bit of the Garbo and Kelly Brow Gel, just in a clear shade just to kind of keep them in place and make them look a little fuller. Moving on to the eyes, I used the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. Um, I first took this orangey peachy shade. I'm so sorry, I don't know the names of them, but I'm just gonna like describe them and have the actual names linked down below. 
Then I took the shade next to it, which is a little bit more of a cool toned light brown, and I just did the same thing, popped it all through the crease and really used circular motions and buffing motions, and then doing the same thing underneath the eyes. Then I took that beautiful, warm, rusty brown and I started to apply this in the outer corner. Um, I used a MAC 217 to do this. It really helps to like blend and pack on color at the same time. So yeah, packed it on in the outer corner and then blended it through the crease and underneath the lower lash line. Then taking that even darker brown, it's more of like a chocolate bright, bleh, brown, <laughs> I'm doing the same thing, just really defining that outer corner in kind of a V shape as you can see, and then blending it in through the crease. She has like the best eyelid shapes to do this. Then for the lid, I took this beautiful copper shade. I did use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus just to make sure we didn't get much fallout and we got the most metallic look, but this shade is so beautiful. So I packed it all over the lid and yeah, it's stunning. Then I just took an E20 brush from Sigma and a bit more of that chocolatey brown and I kind of just added it in the outer corner and just accentuated that V shape a little bit more as you can see. And then I took my 217 once again and made sure that it was super blended and soft looking. Then I just did the same thing on the lower lash line. Just on the outer third, I used a bit more of that chocolatey shade. Then for the inner corners, I took this beautiful light gold shade on an E30 brush from Sigma and I just, yeah, plonked that in her inner corners. And then I just added a little bit of that copper shade to the lower lash line as well, just to kind of tie everything together. Then I just quickly gave it all a blend to make sure it was blended and I used a disposable mascara wand and some mascara. She had lash extensions on so we didn't need lashes or mascara on the top, just on the bottom. Then for lips we went with nude. I took the Rimmel lip liner in natural. I sharpened it and then I just outlined her entire lips. And then for the lip color I took a NYX soft matte lip cream in Stockholm and I used an F70 brush to apply this and it all looked so pretty on her. Then I just gave her a quick spritz of the MAC Fix Plus Pink Light and we were done. So thank you to Mez for being on my channel and letting me play with your face. It is always a pleasure and now guys be prepared for some really weird bloopers. Like we are freaks. I'm so sorry. Love you guys. Bye. So that All right, that'll do. But that's fine. wish of innocence is really what is moving me at this point. Terribly sorry. Present. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I looked at that and I said, Oh my God. Oh my God, that is terrible. Boom, 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 boom. It's on that. But when you keep coming, boom, boom, boom. It's him on the head. It's a boom, boom. But uh, why is my battery running out already? Somewhere up here. That was fully charged when we started. When I think Kathleen. 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 So there's not one like. Oi. All right. Now you need to move in closer. Look at your eyes. <laughs> you done fucked up, hey, hey, Ron. I'll do a blue spot on you. I thought. You don't. You don't have to smile. You need to have a bitch face. Okay. Just a ball. These fucking Fuck things. Fuck the okay? The fuck do you think? You dumbass. You have one. Are they here? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And I haven't had tasers to fuck it. 
second incident. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love that we found the exact same thing. It's hilarious. And you will be looking so extra. Is that? There was nothing out of place except she was no longer living. Everything was as one. There was nothing out of place except she was no longer living. It was all the same. <laughs> Everything was really what the normal. Fuck? I mean, there could have been yeah, a bit of a pound before we finish. I love getting a good pounding. Then, hmm. oh, well, that on my lip. Pencil. Okay, do you, wait, do you pose your pose? Look down and just maybe do what I do. Yeah. 